Hello, this is Peter Detmer, Madison College, Robotics and Automation Program. Today I'm going to walk you through how to update the firmware on a Control Logix L73 processor. Uh, for that we need a USB cable with A and B connections, the, the L73 processor, and a software package called Control Flash. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how the connection uh, would look like. So I have opened up RSYNC's Classic and when I plug in the USB cable into my laptop and then the other end into the processor, if uh, the USB driver is recognized, you should see this USB connection pop up. You can click on the USB connection and you can see we've done a few of these. Uh, this is the only one currently available and connected. So you want to click on it, right click, and go to device properties and confirm the version you currently have, which is 21. And we want to update to version 30. So you have to have Studio 5000 version 30 installed, or you must have downloaded the firmware package from the Rockwell website of version 30 to do this update. I'm going to stay connected and I'm going to open up the Control Flash software. Once you open up the Control Flash software, uh, it takes over your screen. You simply click Next. And by the way, this Control Flash software is free and comes with a download package. If you do get the firmware, uh, you get a list of catalog numbers, so you have to know which one uh, you have, which is the 1756L73 processor. You click Next. Then you get to go through the RS Links, RS Who window, uh, the USB connection. It browses what it physically sees, which is this processor. You click OK. Then you get an option of what the revisions are installed on your laptop. So we have version 21, 28, and 30 installed on this particular machine. You select version 30, the one we want to upgrade to. Click Next. It's going to give you a warning, and this is important. When you update firmware, it wipes out your processor, removes project in any and all configuration and settings. So be aware of that. Make a backup of your project file first. Clicking Next, you're going to get one more time one more chance to change your mind. Now we have a uh, digital card as well in the memory slot, so you get a warning about it that it also might be overwritten. And then the backup or transfer process starts, and it's pretty quick over USB. Uh, a couple of things as this is taking place. Um, it's best practice to put the key switch into the program mode. Um, that will allow you to update the firmware even if there's a fault in the current controller. If you leave it in remote or run, you won't be able to update the firmware. So be aware of that. Um, also, as it's the case for all Studio 5000 firmware versions, you have to purchase the firmware that you want to install. Uh, unless you have some type of license agreement with Rockwell or uh, already have the version, yeah, make sure that you have the licensing and the rights to the firmware you want to install available in your facility. That's why it's a great idea to standardize on a particular firmware package that allows you to have them all in the same version and have one version installed and licensed for all your technicians and engineers that might be programming or accessing your processor. Uh, as this is going through, um, you want to be uh, uh, certain that you don't unplug anything accidentally, that uh, you have all the rights to uh, use this software. You have to have local admin rights on the computer to use the software. You have to have your Factory Talk directory configured, uh, as this is also accessing RSNINGS Classic, which requires that. Now the uh, processor is actually shutting down and restarting and go into a test cycle. Uh, once the test cycle is complete, uh, it'll come back and show us the uh, status of the update process, which should be all green and should show us the new version that's installed 30.011. Uh, be aware that the major version is of course important, the 30, but the minor version, the different compatibility issues with Windows and other software packages in the Rockwell family. Um, so 30.011 is what we want to use, and uh, we're running Windows 10 Enterprise. 
It's also good if you have access and uh, can view the processor because we can see now on the scrolling display that it says no project, the process is complete. We get our pop-up on our Windows machine and it shows the current version and it was all successful. Thank you for your time and be sure to check our YouTube channel for additional videos on PLC and robot programming. Thank you.